Siberian cat versus Himalayan cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Siberian is notable for having a long triple coat with guard hairs, the outer coat, on hairs, the middle part of the coat, and a downy undercoat. He has an abundant ruff around the neck, thick but slightly shorter hair on the shoulder blades and lower part of the chest, and thick fur on the belly and breeches, the upper hind legs. The undercoat thickens in cold weather. The coat comes in all colors and combinations of colors, with or without white. He looks powerful and alert but gazes out at the world with a sweet expression. His head is a modified wedge with rounded contours, broad at the top and narrowing slightly at the muzzle. Medium large ears are well furnished with tufts of fur. The nearly round eyes can be green, gold, green gold, or copper. White Siberians or Siberians with white patches may have blue or odd eyes. His body is muscular and he has big round paws with tufts of fur and a thickly furred tail. In all respects but coat pattern, the Himalayan shares the Persian's sweet expression and soft round lines. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Himalayan's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Himalayan's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear, and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. The Himalayan is bred in the following point colors, chocolate, seal, lilac, blue, red, cream torty, blue cream, chocolate torty, lilac cream, seal lynx, blue lynx, red lynx, cream lynx, torty lynx, blue cream lynx, chocolate lynx, lilac lynx, chocolate torty lynx, and lilac cream lynx. The body is various shades of white to fawn with color only on the facial mask and the feet, ears, and tail. Himalayan's eyes come in only one color, a deep, vivid blue. The Siberian's heart is as warm as his homeland is cold. He loves people and wants to be near them, so expect this affectionate cat to follow you around, including to the bathroom, and to help you with all of your reading, TV viewing, computer work, and meal prep. Sitting in your lap while you comb his fur may well be the highlight of his day. When you come home from work, he might not have a martini waiting, but he will be pleased to tell you all about his day in quiet, pleasant trills and chirps, interspersed with a few meows and purrs. Guests will find him to be a genial host, this is not typically a cat who is shy in the presence of strangers. Besides being loving and attentive, the Siberian is also active and playful. He will instigate games of fetch by bringing you a favorite toy to throw. Any item can become a plaything for this clever cat, so keep jewelry or other potentially intriguing items out of his sight. Teaching him tricks is a fun and easy way to challenge his agile brain. Because of his heritage as a forest dweller, he likes playing with water, perhaps it's a genetic memory of going fishing for his supper. Don't be surprised if he enjoys splashing you in the tub, drinking from a fountain or faucet, or making puddles by batting his paw in his water dish. As befits a working and hunting cat, he's highly athletic and you may find him balancing atop a doorway or propelling himself to the highest point in the room. In fact, Siberian coaches may well be the secret to the success of Russian gymnasts. Activity and noise won't bother him a bit. His calm nature gives him the potential to be a therapy cat. If nothing else, he will be happy to snuggle with you when you're down with a cold or other illness. And although he loves attention, he's not needy and will wait patiently until you have time to devote to him. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile, and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Himis let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Himalayan is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. 
Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out vmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Siberian's thick triple coat should be combed or brushed a couple of times a week to prevent tangles or mats. The coat will shed seasonally in the spring and fall, and you may need to groom more frequently during that time. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing because the coat is highly water resistant. It can be difficult to get a Siberian wet enough to shampoo him. Most of the Siberian's growth occurs in his first year and a half of life. Your kitten's breeder may recommend that you feed him kitten food during that time to make sure he gets enough nourishment. If possible, build your Siberian a large outdoor enclosure where he can jump and climb safely. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Himalayan is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will also help to keep the long coat clean. It's a good idea to keep Siberian and Himalayan as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Siberians and Himalayans who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Siberian has a bold temperament, and nothing much ruffles his composure. These characteristics make him an excellent choice for a family with kids. No nighttime monsters will get past the Siberian on guard at the foot of a child's bed. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, as long as they recognize that he's in charge. Himalayans aren't the best choice for a houseful of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.